Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Team Red Miner that is only available in beta right now. So this is Team Red Miner version 0.9.4.7 and there has been some significant improvements to some of the GPUs. Um, it will not include Polaris cards, but you will, um, depending upon your operating system, so this is the custom Hive package, as well as if you were going to use Windows and Linux. So let's go to the tuning guide here and see how we need to tune these, as well as what are some of these, you know, these improvements that we've seen so far. So according to Team Red Miner, just based off their testing, I'm sure they're waiting to get feedback from the community. But according to them, the 6900 XT, 6800 XT, and 6800 only really see a very small improvement of maybe two to three watts. They say it may not be worth the effort. But over here on the 6700 XT, it says has good effect and you're able to lower the core, which my core right now is at 1175 that you're able to lower the core all the way down to a thousand megahertz and be able to sustain the full 1075 on the memory clock, which um, I'm at 1070 right now. Otherwise I get too much instability and I get a lot of crashes. Looks like the 6600s XTs, it says no real point here. They're waiting for more feedback, but I don't see them list the regular 6600s. So, I may have to maybe test this out on my 6600 non-XTs. I doubt there'll be an improvement. They're already extremely efficient, so I, I'm not sure what more you could gain from it. But it looks like the big winner here, though, are going to be the 5000 series for the 5700 XTs, 5700s, and 5600 XTs. Look at that. Way down on the core. You can really drop this this core voltage down on the 5600s so you'll be able to get really low wattage same with your 5700s be able to keep your 56 mega hashes going sub 700 millivolts so that is that is just amazing right there it looks like um the radeon 7s also see two to three um mega hash as well as there has been a small improvement to the vegas as well let's see what we need to do in order to get the r mode to be enabled on our hive os so we are back over here at the main team red miner page for the new update for the beta and you can see here here are the hive os instructions you need to create a new flight sheet with ethereum as well as instead of picking Team Red Miner, you need to select custom, and then you're going to have to set up a custom miner config, which you'll have to copy and paste this right here, so that way you could download this, um, the custom miner package here, so that way you could use this beta version. Make sure, depending on your pool, and make sure you use the wallet uh, worker template, as well as in the extra arguments this is really critical here is that you need to add this command right here this dash dash kernel underscore vm underscore mode equal rr so this is what the you you need to have this in order for it to go into the r mode for mining so let's go ahead and let me try to get this to work and see if we can't you know, first let's let's see what my rig is doing right now. So we're gonna click the uh, old refresh button here. All right. Now I have all my fans to auto as well as auto on my Octominer fans. So these percentages go up and down as the as I tell it because I want it to stay within a certain temperature range. So it looks like right now the entire rig is using 885 watts. And I want to say something on Octominers and their true wattage. So, because I know some people have some issues. Now, you need to have all the PSUs connected on the Octominer or else you're going to get a load sharing glitch. What will happen is, it's let's say it's 900 watts your rig is using, right? We'll just say that this is 885, but what will happen is, if, if you only have one or two of the P PSUs hooked up, 
these other two will be glitched and it will double or triple this 885 and you will get an incorrect reading. So you must have all the PSUs hooked up so that the load sharing software works correctly. So just a little FYI for you Octominer people out there. So I'm currently using 885 watts from the wall. That's also gonna include these um, Octominer server fans, which I'm gonna guess are probably around 80 to 100 watts you know so we'll just so we're at 885 total on the rig i just want to see what this number is going to drop down to because i'm also it said that we could drop it our core down to a thousand and as you can see right here i'm at 1175 so most of these cars are actually really low right now as you can see with my wattage because i use the soc frequencies and the soc uh, millivolts i got this from matt electron i'll leave a link down below for that video if you guys um haven't checked that out you can really drop your wattage here with just these two settings right here so let me uh let me set up my flight sheet and uh we'll get into it so just so you guys know you're gonna have to click show all and then scroll down almost pretty much all the way to the bottom and you will see custom where it has everything highlighted right you're going to click custom okay and then you're going to set up uh your config here so this is the pool i use i use i'm using uh we're going to use this the uh, easel pool and then remember we need this extra config argument i think this is correct uh we're going to have to see so i have my i ha when you put in this installation it will automatically bring up this team red minor beta and then you come over here to the I to do your worker wallet template. And then here you manually enter in your pool URL. And just remember, guys, you need to have this um, extra config argument right here. And now we're going to click apply changes. And then we're going to click uh, update and we're going to say create a new flight sheet. All right, guys, we're back. I have this in R mode. And just to show you guys, you can see right here, it says R16, R640s. So it is in R mode right now. This is how many mega hashes I'm getting. I did pick up a little bit of mega hashes by 0.3, but the results are not good. So I don't know, maybe if they're able to fine tune this a little bit more. So my previous overclocks, I had these down to 68, 70 watts in the software. And we were at 885 watts overall. We've gained 300 watts on this rig for maybe like three mega hash. That is terrible. So these fans on these cards were only at around like 50% and this was around 40, 50%. So the fans are working harder on the GPUs. The fans are working harder on my OctoMiner as well as we're drawing more power. Now, I will show you my overclocks. So I could not get this to work with the SOC frequencies um, and the SOC uh, millivolts from Matt Electron and Rondi. Every time I tried it, it would crash. I had to bump them up really, really high to where even the power was even more than this right here. So I couldn't, I couldn't get the wattage to go down any, any, you know, any lower at all. So I actually had a, these were all at 1270. I had to bump them up all the 1300. And then I had to bump up the core and memory voltages. This was at uh, 650 and now it's at 700. And then I had to bump this up from 675 to about 700. Now you did drop your core down from uh, 1175 down to 1000. But the problem is we, we're not seeing less power here. We're seeing more power. We've gained almost 300 watts. So in my opinion, is R mode worth it? If you have 6700 XTs, my answer is going to be no. I'm going to give a shout out again to Rondi and Matt Electron. Go check out their video. Link will be down in the description. You don't need to have R mode. So anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Once again, um, Check out, you know, I also did a video on the 6700s. And remember, guys, this is the Mining King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.